This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT science question. The question asks us to look at a molecular formula, which will look a little bit complicated, but it's really quite simple. So the question is asking us that the chemist determine this molecular form formula for the oxygenated hydrocarbon. Which formula would most likely represent this compound? So we want to look um, in this passage and find out and find the only place where we see formulas. So we see formulas in experiment one because experiment three has these equations with enthalpy and entropy, and experiment two is talking about temperature. So in experiment one, we see that um, they tell us you determine that the empirical formula of the compound is C2H6O. Um, and unfortunately, that's not a choice here, which would be too easy. But they give us a really important piece of information. They say that the molecular formula may be an integer multiple of the empirical formula. So basically, we want to find something that keeps the same proportion uh, between uh, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in the C2H6O. So let's look at our choices. Uh, first choice, C3H7O2, not the same proportions. So we want this it's two to um, this two, six, one relationship to hold true. Uh, CH3O1.5 uh, unfortunately isn't going to work because having a 1.5 here is really strange. You can't have 1.5 of an element, so that's not going to be good. Choice number three, C4H12O. Um, also not the right proportions because you need to increase the O if you're doubling everything. It would, it would work if it were C4H12O2, but that's not our answer. Choice four is the only one left, and we'll see that it makes sense because it's just multiplying everything by three. So we have C6, we have H18, and we have O3. So everything is multiplied by three, has the same proportions, so choice four is our answer.